So welcome everybody, welcome to Energy Play Shop number 47. And um, today is May the 25th, 2023. So welcome, welcome. The topic tonight is called self-mastery. Um, I think maybe, I think it was maybe about a year ago around there, I talked about that we, each of us, we, we actually, when we were born, um, we came with a set of energies. And I kind of talked about that we have something called a guardian, like there are 10 guardians. And then this, um, we have the star of destiny, we have the door of destiny, the stem of destiny and those things. So that's what I mean by we born with a set of energies. So depending on when, um, uh, when the time, the date and time of our birth, we can kind of find out what that set of energy is. However, it is not like just because we are born with it doesn't mean that we are stuck with it. We, we actually have the option of changing it. And I talked about changing it, um, I think about a year ago, thereabout. <clears throat> and I uh, just want to so this time, I want to actually um, go more detail into being able to pick the set of energies that's going to support you to do things in, because when we change the energy, we actually change how we feel and how we behave. So let's say if you normally are, um, like, let's say if you normally are very, gentle nice person however somehow you want to start to become more authoritative then you can actually do that when you just shift your own you change your own energy sets then it actually can start to um give you a different way to start to become more authoritative where people will look towards you and um, look at you as an expert and authority. So that may come in handy, like things like, let's say if you, uh, the, the example is that Sifu James used to be a, um, a very, I would say, because he used to be a fund manager. So he like, he was very able, very, good at being able to get people to do what he says however as he shifted to become a healer that that authority um that kind of authoritative um demeanor does not suit according to him does not suit being a good healer so that's when he um you know look into how to change his own energy and so he learned about this the um that the energy sets and so he was able to pick the energy set that really helps him to become a more effective healer and so and and I think maybe not everybody but people who have known Sifu for a long time would notice the change he he used to be um <laughs> much I wouldn't say mean but I would say that you know when you, um, you you feel the fear because he has the fear door. That's how he can use that set of energy in order to um, become such a very effective fund manager. However, however, when he started to become the the healer, then like at first the his um, the, when he started to to teach people still feel okay this teacher is like uh <clears throat> they they have to be really very careful and handle with with care um to not say the wrong thing to upset this uh, this teacher so he find that that's not very effective in terms of being a healer and and uh, teacher so he switched it and I, I did feel the difference because I've been with Sifu for a while now. So, and so this is what we're going to talk about tonight is 
I'm going to introduce a the different sets of energies and how you can shift in yourself into them and how they can be useful. So before I do that, I would like to just um, take everybody into a, med, a, a presence meditation first so that we can all come into present moment and be here to be able to just listen to this. Um, it's really a very magnificent ways of being able to choose a set of energies to support ourselves. And that really allow us to master ourselves. When we must, when we're able to consciously choose how to support ourselves, then we are mastering ourselves. So let's take a deep breath in. So breathe in deeply and slowly through your nose. Breathe in. And when you can breathe in no more, then start to breathe out. Breathe out deeply and slowly. And then breathe in again. Breathe in deeply and slowly. And breathe out slowly. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in deeply, slowly. And breathe out slowly. Let everything go. And continue to breathe and follow your own rhythm of breathing with the intention of elongating your breathing as much as possible while still being comfortable. Use your breath to calm yourself down. When you elongate your breath, you send a signal to your body that you are now out of the fight or flight mode. And it's okay to relax your body and relax your mind as well. So take the next few breaths to just allow yourself to calm everything down. Calm down your body. As you breathe out, make sure that you let go of tension wherever you may feel them, especially around your shoulders. When you feel that you are relaxed, then the next thing is set an intention that you want to bring back all of your energies, all of your attention. So as you breathe in, set the intention to bring back all of your energy and attention towards yourself. Whatever energy or attention that you have sent out during the day, whether you are putting your attention to work, your family, or just observing the world outside in this moment, bring all of those attention back into yourself. And just notice and pay attention to you, only you. All of your energy, all of your attention. It's for you and for what's inside you, for how you feel.
And notice the difference as you bring your attention back to yourself. As you focus on yourself, you may start to notice that the energy uh, can become more substantial. You may even feel within yourself this column of energy that's becoming more and more noticeable. It has always been there. It's just that you have never noticed it as you are placing your attention outside. But when you call back all of your own attention within, you notice what's inside you. And that's your energy for you to do and to create and to play with however you see it in this moment. And when you start to feel that you're more present with yourself, with what's going on in your body, then take one more deep breath in and let it all go and you can open your eyes and come all the way back into the room. Thank you very much. For spending this time with yourself and only yourself. So welcome back everybody. I'll come back. As I mentioned that we're going to talk about um, energy sets within the body. And I would like to just um, share screen first briefly. Oops, okay, hang on. Let me organize this a little bit better. Mm, yeah, this is what I want. Okay, so, so there are actually two methods and um, they're not mutually exclusive. You can actually use both of them. So the first one is using the... Um, <clears throat> Is the Chinese method. I, I, I would call it Chinese method, the, the more traditional Chinese method. And it's called Qi Men Dan Jia. So um, the, if you notice the, um, the last line here on the slide, I don't know, um, for, for those of you who um, maybe don't quite remember, this is the the last line here gives you the website where you can just go and punch in your own birthday and, um, and time, and you will find out what is your original set of energies. So, however, um, you, you don't really need to know what that is for now in order to follow. So, but this is, uh, I can, the, I will be sending you all this, this presentation so that you, this, this is something that you can, if you want to just go and refresh your own memory. So let's, let's talk about, so what is the set of energies? Um, there are actually five parts, but only four that are, are actually only only two of them are really relevant, but I'm just going <clears> to <throat> briefly review what we talked about. 
previously. First is that four inches above, there's an antenna. So when you, so uh, four inches above the top of your head, that's where your guardian comes in. So each one has a guardian depending on your birthday. So there are 10 different guardians, you will get one. So mine is the turtle, for example. So there are chiefs and all different ones. So the guardian, you can't really change the guardian. It's something that you are assigned and you can't really change it because it's outside your body. So you can't really change it. But the other sets of energies are within your body. And because they're within your body, so you can actually change them. The two other sets that are... Uh, that, we'll be focusing on is really the star and the door. So where's the stars? It is really your brain area. That's where the energy comes in. That's the star, star of, des the, of destiny. And the next one, the, the, the door, the door is in the heart area. So that's where the, the, the door energy comes in. And there's also one that's the sacral. However, because the star and the door are the two more, I would say, most important ones. That's why we, when we change the energy set, we are only dealing with these two. Usually when you switch these two, then the stem um, would not really matter as much. So, so what are the different sets? So um, this is a, this is all that we have. That does not mean that there's no other options. There's actually, you can pick and choose your own options, but these are the more, I would say, um, common or useful ones. So because we, here uh, on the energy play shop, we, we're talking about um, energy healing. So being a healer is really something that we would, it's, it's, um, it's important. So if you want to be an effective healer, then you have to make sure that the, the star of destiny is heavenly heart. And then the star of, or the door of um, destiny is open. So with these two, then it actually helps you to become a better healer. So these two sets of energy. However, in life, sometimes we need to be more of a warrior. So heavenly grass and rest. These are the combinations. If you want to be um, a property owner, and then these are the different combinations. So, so these are kind of the, the combinations. So what does, um, just a little bit of a refresher to what any of these means. So there are nine star of destiny. So what is the heavenly heart? What does heavenly heart means? With this set of energy, it really assists you in being a good leader and you have success in your career and all of those. So that's what the heavenly heart does. And if we look at, um, so open door, what is the open door? So open represents the beginning of things, bringing opportunities and promotions. So those are the, the things that's going to assist you in being a better healer. And if there is something that is not listed in this combination, then you can actually pick your own when you really get to know what each of the different star of destiny is gonna give you or each of the door of destiny, what each of them is going to give you. So that's the combination. Now, how do we 
change as this, uh, I think I talked about how to change a last year. So I just want to review. So how do you change? You first, you connect with your guardian, connect and activate with your guardian. And it would definitely help if you face the direction, which you would be able to get if you um, look at when you uh, put your, when you can get the, the direction in this link as well, the destiny plotter. So you get where, which direction you should face. So it is with the back of your head facing the direction of your guardian. Then you just say, let's say this for me is turtle. So turtle activate. And I would face north because that's my, uh, that's the, for me, that's a, the uh, direction for my guardian. And then I know that, okay, so I should change mine to heavenly heart because I'm not my my original set is not heavenly heart i think i'm a heavenly grass so if i want to be a better healer i my new set should be heavenly heart so my new style would be um, heavenly heart so heavenly heart activate and then once I have activated the, the new star, then I would make sure that the new star and the guardian can connect. And also when I run my Kundalini, I would be, and also the ultimate power as well, that everything runs smoothly, that I feel that the energy actually runs smoothly. And to change the door, usually you change the star first and then you change the door. And once you change the door, so the changing the door is you just find what is the new door, then you say activate. And then you connect the door and the star together. And then you activate your Kundalini and just make sure that everything runs smoothly. And then that's the change process. Right? <laughs> Questions, comments. <laughs> it's um, actually, it's a very simple process. You just know that, let's say, if you want to be a better um, healer, then you just look up what set of energies for the star and the door, and you just change it to that set if your original set is not that. And you change it, you check, make sure your energy is still running properly because after you've changed if it's not done very well then um, the energy is kind of it's not very aligned so once you make sure that everything is aligned then it's already changed you may not feel um, the, the the effect right away however usually it takes um, maybe a couple of hours, you start to notice that you feel differently and you think differently. That's how you know that um, when you when you have that, then you know that okay, everything is as is done. Then um, go and be the healer that you want to be. Vinny, do you have that original link where we can see, like, I just remember that I'm chief, but I don't remember the door or anything else. Do you have that link where I can, again, count and see what is my original set? Hang on. Um, I, I just have to copy that for you and I put it in the chat then. Okay, thank okay. you. Hang on. Let me just do that. Um, so it, it takes 21 days to get uh, like an automatic, like to, to settle? 
because that's what uh, Shifu was saying. If we practice for a good 21 days to change the set, so then it will be a permanent set, right? Unless we change it again. Um, is it? Well, yes, usually 21 days. That's 21 days, okay. Usually 21 days, yes. Unless. So, Mm -hmm. How how do you find out about the guardian? Because I don't know who's my guardian is. Because since you, <laughs> since just... you since you know that the, the I don't have the time or the correct date of birth. So okay, hang on, I am just okay. Let me just put the link in the chat so you can all go there. And um, okay, so I've just put the link in the chat. So you guys can go to the chat, click the link, and it will take you to that website. Get it? On the web, that website, we also have um, description of all the doors, all the uh, garden. Mm, uh, already... I, I don't know. I don't think so. Because yeah, I already also forgot. Yeah, that's that's, that's fine. fine. Uh, I, I oops. So I can send you my uh, presentation. So it will give you a um kind of let you know what each of the different star and door mean. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It, it so, I remember that you gave us, but I forgot. Interesting that I have nothing on my chat. You have to put your date of birth on. Yeah, on you have to put. No, date I have birth. nothing in the chat. Oh, you have nothing in the chat. Yes, no messages. I mean, I used to have it in my phone, but not in a computer. No, it's you there. Just do it on your phone. To chat. Chat you can, nothing. You can still be on Zoom and do it on your phone. You can go into the link. Nishi, did you get that? Yeah, it's there. So you, what is your guardian? No, the guardian, because, the, no, I was talking to um, uh, Winnie, because since I don't have the exact... Yeah, but that will send in the link, and you put your date of birth and time, if you know, and you'll get your guardian name. Okay, thank the you. The link which is in the chat. Thank you. You, do, you don't need to have your, your I, I, the time. I, 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 yeah, you don't need to have the time of birth, but you can have the, um, as long as you have the date and the year, the day and the year. But if you don't have those, then yeah. Yeah, that's the issue. Unfortunately. <laughs> so in that case, then- I'm unique. Uh, I'm sorry, since I, you know, switch. I went back again to my telephone. I don't have that link. Roxana, maybe you can send me. But you know, when when he sends you the information, it is on there. Should we just saw it? It's nothing. It's clear. My oh, chat on, is clean. On the information that she will send you on the slides, it is on that slide. We, she just showed it to us. On the slide that she showed us. Bring that slide up, please, for her. Okay, it come, so it will come when she sends you all the information. Okay. So, um, so, so, Tatiana, what's your date of birth? I can actually. Yeah, yeah. Let can... me do myself. Okay, you do yourself. Then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, when I send you the presentation, Tatiana, I send you a link so you have it. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for helping out. Thank you, thank you guys. Ah, I don't understand how come you don't see the chat because um, I have it in the chat. 
Yeah, yeah. it's for everybody. Everybody can see. Yeah, every, that, so. everybody. Because should. I came later, I switch from my phone to the computer. Okay, let me post it again then. Because you are here now. So do you see it now? Yes, now okay. I see that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Mystery solved. Yes, the matter of timing. Um, so, so if you don't have a, if you don't know your birthday though, you can still do it. Mm -hmm. So what you do is, um, I would actually just pick pick one, pick chief, for example. Just okay. pick. Because um, so what you do is you connect with the chief first, and then what you do is you step you um, walk yeah that that part i know already like it, you know you imagine every one of us there so then you pick one and you step in in the middle and then you will connect it to yeah. that then that i connect, did that yes you will connect with everyone so when yeah. you connect it with everyone then that means that you know out of out of the 10 one of them would be yours so right that was so still, that was that, still then I did pick my my star is a heavenly heavenly heart. My door mm -hmm. is open already, like from day one, I guess, because if you look at it, and my uh, stem is a Z Y I. So okay. What, yeah, that's that's the set I am working with. Okay. Um. So you can you can pick whichever one that. Mm -hmm. So let's say if you want to um, become a property owner, <laughs> then you change the heavenly ambassador for star mm -hmm. and door and the life door. Okay. So the, the thing is, the, the idea is that you don't have to just be confined to just one set. One, okay. You can actually pick which one do I need or, or what's, which set of energy do I need to be today in order to do something special. Let's say if you, if you need to be a, um, if you need to be a hero, then you pick the set that's for hero. If you need to be like really smart to figure out you know, how to do something, what's the best strategy for doing something, then you pick the set that is for being a strategist. Ah, very good. So we can change almost every yeah, time. You can, every you can change the that's the reason why we give that's the reason why we give you this, so that you can tick your pick so that you can be in charge of your own energy and so, call so on we can change, we can change like twice a day or like it's a, like say if a person is going for a meeting then you can have a different set and out of the meeting you can have a different set so that mean it doesn't have to be like 21 days like you can just pick and connect within two minutes right that's what it is Yes. Okay. Thank you. If you do something for 21 days, you actually, so your body by, by 21 days, your body would know, oh, okay, this, this lady wants this, this other set of energies. So the other set of energies, let's say for healer, is going to be um, cause more or less always there mm -hmm. instead of the original set. Okay. However, if you need it to be a hero one day, then yeah, you go switch it. 
And then when you're done, then you switch it back to being the healer. Thank you. In that way, then you be you can become you can master yourself because you you know what each of the um, set of energy can do for you. So when you need a set of energy to be uh, a strategist, then you just call that in. And wow, it'll be, be fun. It, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. It will. Yes, that actually gives us a lot of power to be able yes. to support ourselves. Because when you switch your internal energy, you will respond like different thoughts will come to you. You will behave very differently. Your, your, <laughs> you feel very differently. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. So My that, door is rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, guardian chief, star of destiny, ambassador. Where is ambassador? Where is the star of star of destiny? The ambassador. Okay, hang on. Let me just uh, ambassador. Ambassador, uh, let me just look at what does that mean. Ambassador actually represents wealth. Wealth? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just I have to wait when it's going to happen. <laughs> the, the thing is, um, see, energy, the, your energy has to be strong. Because if your energy is not strong, it actually um, when your energy is not strong, it actually um, means that you have that potential. So this this set of star and door, and let me just actually try to do a share screen to to show you what I mean. So um, let me do a share screen. So this is this is the um, the one that we have in terms of shifting it. Yes, if you want to, if you have what's the so you have rest door. Okay, so if you want to be, let's say, a properties owner, then you have to change your door to life instead of rest. Let's, let's say. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So I have to always say life activate on my star of destiny. Where is it located? Star is, <clears throat> star is um, your brain. So, ah, okay. And life is your heart. Wait, you said the start of destiny, it's in a brain. So yes. it's mean I have to change for life in a brain. No. So, so you want properties owner, right? Or be, a, business owner. Okay, business owner. Uh, Okay, it does not matter which one it is. So what, what you want is the star of destiny. So, so the star is the head, door is the heart. Okay. So if you, let's say if you want to be a property's owner, your star is already, like your original one is already ambassador for this one. So all you need to switch is the life door because you have rest door right now, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So if you want to switch to being a, a properties owner, then all you have to do is switch to life door. 
you don't have to switch your star because you already have the star. It's heavenly ambassador. Let's say if you want to be a good strategist, if you want to, you know, strategize how to become a, um, a business owner, then you want to, so you want to be a strategist. So then you switch your star to heavenly pillar and the door to fear and see how your energies shifted. so that you can become a better strategist to find the best way to become a business owner. You understand? In Steam of Destiny, it's you said in our um, like hormonal stuff, say. What? Steam of destiny, it's like uh, underneath of the belly button. Stem, stem of destiny. Stem, stem of the destiny. Stem. There's nothing for the stem because the star and the door, they are the more important ones. Once you change these two, the stem is going to be fine. Because I have stem, not good, I have ren. Okay, if you don't like your stem, then you change it to a better one. Change it to yi or jia. Those are the good ones. You understand? I remember yi, it's for wells, right? It seems to be, yeah, sure. Yi or jia are both good ones, I, I remember. So if you don't like your stem, then change it. So far, so good. You understand yeah. all this? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. So any other comments? I have here Wells Place. It's like North West. What does it mean? I have to when when I, you know, play working. I have to face northwest. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> the the directions were only for changing the chief. That means you are facing that direction, and then uh, when you want to, that's and then your whatever your guardian is, and then you take a step forward. First, you call the guardian to feel the energy at the back of your neck, right? You right. call out the guardian yeah. name to feel the energy on the back of your neck. And mm -hmm. then you, if you want to join with all the guardians, then you take a step forward and go to all your guardians. Say, guardians connect. All right. Yes. Thank you. I remember. Yeah. yeah you, um, <clears throat> there, are, there are lots of different um, directions there. However... They really, it's for people who know more about feng shui, which I, I don't. And it's, um, so the only one that we need to be uh, um, aware of, it, the most important one is really the direction of your guardian. Yeah, that's what it means yeah, when she says it's not best for her guardian. What's your guardian? Tatiana? Hmm? What was your guardian? Chief. chief. Chief, yeah. So in her case, I thought chief is always not. Maybe. Bye, Maybe Charlotte. Bye. Bye. Chief on Talk West. Later. Bye, Charlotte. Chief on West for me. Okay. So then yeah. why are you saying not West? Huh? Yeah. There is no not West. So she's she's no, I, I yeah. at the bottom of that um stuff it says wells palace yeah so the, the x there's a lot of extra information given there 
However, because they they really are about uh, feng shui and um, <laughs> I am not the feng shui master. Okay. Thank you. How you spell Yi? Y I. Y I. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions about this one? Uh, Winnie, if you keep changing it, then you said it like it takes 21 days to settle. So then it won't work then. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> if you do it for 21 days, then you keep the set. Because originally we have a set. Okay, okay. If you change it to, let's say, the healer set, and you okay. keep changing it to the healer set every day for 21 days, then after 21 days, your body already knows that, oh, she wants the healer set. So you don't have to keep changing it to healer anymore. It will stay. So you okay, have I got that. I got that. But like yeah. when she said that you can change to whatever you need to be that day. Yeah. When you then, need, then so, so you just not, it temporarily? It, it does not it does not take 21 days. Because once yep. you change it and you make sure that when you run your Kundalini, the energy is working well together, and then it's done. You've changed it. Yeah, but then say a few days later, you want to change it again. So it will still change. Yeah, you can still change. Okay. It's but your you like internal energy. It then you do it for 21 days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, they, so star you feel in the head, door you feel in the heart. Yeah. Um, where you feel guardian. Guardian, it's four inches above. Ah, okay. Thank you. Four inches above. That's when the energy comes in. However, usually you will feel it. It depends on which guardian. So, um, the different guardians may. Like usually the guardians talk to you on the right side of your head. Okay. That's when the energy comes in. So it comes in through like four inches above your antenna. Right. And side. then it goes to your the right side of your amygdala. Hmm. So amygdala is it's right and left, but it's kind of more central. So it's just slightly to the right, very slightly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. So far, so good? Yes, perfect. Okay, test it out. Have fun with this. Yes, I will. Be playing okay. with it. <laughs> Great. Now, <laughs> we still have the second method. Okay, so let me uh, share screen again. Second method. So this is just the first method. And we, we have, let me see, we have about eight sets that we can play with. This is not the only method we have. There is another method. Remember we have the central meridian and we have the Kundalini, those two. And the central meridian, we have energy centers, right? Different energy centers from one to eight energy centers. <clears throat> and we also have uh, CK is chakras. So we have one to seven chakras. That's another method of changing our energy sets. So this is, this is, um, so these here are the ones for changing. Let's say if you want to be a CEO, so chief executive um, officer. So that's a CEO, mean, meaning that you're the one that is going to set the agenda for the whole company. 
So if you want to have that mindset, and what you do is you want to have EC7, EC5, and EC1, all those energy being strong at 100%. And these three energy centers work with each other. So that means that they, they are aligned. When these three centers are at 100% and aligned, then you will be able to think like a CEO. However, if it's not strong, then you are wandering around. You couldn't really decide anything. So... <clears throat> So weak meaning 60% and under is weak. So make sure it, everything is strong. Or so if it's, if, if it's a 60%, then it will give the totally different uh, outcome. Yes. If it's 100%, then it will give you the different outcome. Okay, yes. got it. Yes. Thank you. So that means you have to make sure that your energy centers are at a hundred percent because if they are not at a hundred percent you know the all the with this on the the right hand side here they're not very desirable most of them anyways not all of them and you most of us wants to be the people or the identity that's on the left side here you we want to be the ceo or we want to, let's say, orator, meaning that we want to be able to speak well. So when your energy center seven, five, and six are at 100% and they are aligned and working with each other, then you, you can talk. And when you talk, people will listen because you can catch their attention. But if they are weak, then it's like, eh, you whimper. You know, you don't really talk much. So you can either be an angel or you just give up. You angel meaning that you just um, make things happen. And you can create miracles, all of that. So give up meaning, well, you know, you just don't feel like doing anything. You can be a caregiver. If you align your fourth, fifth, and the third energy centers 100% and working with each other, or you can be the destroyer, meaning that you just ruin everything. You can be philanthropist or you be a lone ranger. You don't care. You don't want to help people. You just want to be by yourself. You can be a good marketer. Or you can, instead of marketer, meaning that you can influence other people to buy whatever it is that you want to sell. Or you can be a follower. You just, whatever people tell you, you just say, oh, yes, let's do that. You just follow. So you want to be rich, or you want to be happy, or you want to be hiding and be lonely. So all of this, so these are different combinations. So you simply call on, say, EC6, CK7, EC5, open, connect, activate 100%, right? Um, let's see, the change process. So make sure you, so the change process. So you activate your central meridian and your Kundalini. So you, so you would do some meditation. Make mm -hmm. sure that your central meridian, like all of the different energy centers, is the energy is strong. So you make sure that they become 100%. So how do you know they're 100%? So after you meditate, you concentrate on each energy center. And then you would just make sure that, you know, when you check in, are you at 100%? You actually feel that the answer is yes. So usually when you feel an opening in the heart, that's a yes. So you check each of the energy center and make sure it's at 100%. Mm -hmm. 
And if you, the energy set you work with has Kundalini, then make sure Kundalini is also working at 100% as well. And then you just select which one you want. You want to be, you know, um, you want to be a CEO today. If you do, then you just, so you just select the set. So the CEO oh, is 751. So then coherence activate. So EC7, EC5, and EC1 coherence activate. Mm -hmm. Then that was set that those three energies is going to work with each other. Good. Easy, right? Yeah, it's hard to, to remember, but do it and remember things, but it's easy. Yeah. Um, see, so it's, it's, it takes a bit of time because depending on how long it takes for you to, to tune your, your central meridian to be 100% and the Kundalini to be 100%. So mm. may take you 10 minutes, may take you 20 minutes, however long it takes. All you have to do is make sure you're at 100% and then these three centers or pick the set of energies mm -hmm. and coherence activate and, and you're done. So on this chart, Bini, uh, so if you're saying the energy is not high enough, then you could be on the weaker side, right? That's what would happen. Yes, yes. So let's say if you need to be the CEO today, you make sure in the morning you do that. And when you find yourself starting to wander and not be as um, focused, then you know that, oh, okay, I need to spend another 10, 15 minutes to make sure that my central meridian is strong again. Because sometimes we, uh, our energy may go down. Mm -hmm. Let's say if we are getting tired, then yeah. We need to take a rest and then tune the the energy centers again. So um, in, right here, you also you choose like today, uh, like if I want to have, if I want to be rich and happy, should I activate two sets at the same time? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He wants everything. <laughs> you can you can only activate one set at a time. So okay. be rich first, and then once you you get the riches, then you switch to being happy. Okay. <laughs> or the other way around. Sometimes when you're happy, you attract the the rich. The, the yes. Money to you. Yes. So I think when you're I, happy, you're gonna interact everything. Yeah, so, you know, uh, experiment, experiment, see which ones, what combination works best for you. Thank you. However, you know, if you, if you want to be in the headspace of being a good marketer, then now you know the combination. Or if you need to be the, the, the speaker today, then now you know the combination. <laughs> so yeah, don't worry about um, copying all of this down. I will be sending you guys this presentation so you can have all the information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so any other questions so far? It's so, so exciting. Yes. Self-mastery. So you can get to be, to pick. How do you want to, to get through the day? What energy will support you? Mm -hmm. Once you know what combination is going to serve you the best under the circumstances, then all you need to do is change it. It's interesting. I started to practice uh, um, what you taught us, 29 inches, and talk to people before the time and manifest all kind of good things for myself. 
it's hundred percent working. It doesn't work only with my daughter, but the rest working. <laughs> <laughs> I think and, you need to. I think you need to probably go to um, thirty nine inch and ask. Um, I've. Let me see who would be good. Probably so. Okay, uh, who is your favorite archangel? Right now, I asking always Arch Archangel Raphael to to heal me. I don't know. I I never call any other archangels. Okay, so still work work on. Um, so if you most like. It really depends on which one that you feel most comfortable working with. Raphael is pretty good. So because you want to heal your relationship with your daughter, so so ask, you know, call in um, Archangel Raphael and ask him to teach you how to heal that. What do you need to do? What do you need to say to your daughter to start to heal that relationship? Thank you. Because um, it seems like you may need to do a little bit more. And it's so, so interesting. It's really, really working. And uh, like recently, one of my clients, she was complaining that her son, he was eating some mushroom to know what people thinking to know what people you know want to do Mad uh, mushrooms some kind of mushroom i don't know and we don't need any mushrooms we can talk <laughs> just like this yep don't even need the mushrooms <laughs> yeah Mm -hmm. cool that's that's fun okay and no no more questions no other questions or no other comments well this is uh it's um you really need to try and test these out so uh, i i shouldn't say test these out because sue james already test them out that's the uh, the combination that he has found for us. So really thank, very thankful for Sifu James for doing all the hard work. All we need to do now is really use these and see how um, effective they are. Because these are just tools mm -hmm. to assist us to live life better. So take the tool and try it out and see which one works best for you. And um, okay, so what would you guys want to, is there any particular set that you guys want to experience? You want to be an angel? Do you want to be happy? Happy. You want to be happy. <laughs> I thought you are happy. <laughs> sure. Everybody good at um good with happy? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's do a meditation so we can go through it. Um all of us go through it together. Go through one switching together okay wonderful let's do happy then i'm gonna um let's let me just stop the recording and we start again to make this 